Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to build and fly the new SpeedyB 5 inch freestyle frame which I've recently reviewed. In this video I'm going to go over the components that I used and then show the build procedure and the flight footage. So first of all I used the HLRC FD765 stack which is based on a 65 ampere 4-in-1 BLLE32 ESC and an F7 flight controller with dual gyros. The motors are the Helination Talon 2207 Plus 2750 KV motors and they are pushing the iFlight Nazgul 5140 propellers. In addition, I used a Crossfire Nano SE receiver, the Runcom Swift 3 micro FEV camera, and finally, probably the most interesting component that I used is the Fierce FEV 2.4 GHz VTX, which is connected to the TrueRC Singularity 2.4 GHz antenna. The total weight of this build, including a Runcom 5 HD action camera, is 468.1 grams and 648.8 grams, including the 1300 mAh 4S CNHL battery that I used, so it's a little bit on the heavy side, and with this kind of setup, you can expect about 2.5 minutes of flight time. Of course, if you are going to remove the Runcom 5 HD action camera and its mount, and also the motor protectors, the weight is going to be reduced and the flight time that you can expect is going to be close to 4 minutes. In order to receive the 2.4 GHz video signal, I used the new Fierce FEV TrueDX 2.4 GHz receiver and the TrueRC Singularity and XR 2.4 GHz antennas. On the paper, the range of this setup can be very far, but I was very limited due to a couple of issues. First of all, the GPS just refused to work properly and I even tried to shield it with aluminum foil, but it just didn't work. I did some research and probably what I should do is to add a filter to the antenna connector of the VTX and maybe it's going to help, but I just didn't want to get too far without the GPS because the return to home feature is just not going to work. In addition, I had weird signal interruptions and as you're about to see in the flight footage, the top half of the screen was pretty much clear and I had lots of interruptions on the bottom part. I'm not sure if it's related to the TrueDX receiver, which might need to be updated or it might be related to 2.4 GHz interruptions that were in the areas. I believe that the first option is the one that caused the issues and hopefully Furious FEV are going to release an update that is going to fix this issue. Another issue is that the flight time of this setup is relatively short, so we can't go to 5 kilometers and go back using this setup. So probably what I'm going to do is to remove the Runcom 5 HD camera and also the moto protectors and then test it again once the update for the TrueDX is going to be released. Besides that, I can tell you that all the other components pretty much performed as expected. The Helination Talon 227 Plus 2750 KV motors are pretty powerful and also pretty power hungry motors and the AJRC 65 ampere ESC could handle them with no issues. In addition, the SpeedyB 5 inch freestyle frame was pretty easy to work with since it's pretty spacious and even though I did not crush it, I can estimate that this frame is going to be pretty durable, so it's suitable for beginners. Now I'm going to show you the building procedure and the flight footage, and as always, if you have any questions about any of the parts that I used, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye!
forever.